behind me is an image. Actually, it's a video which I've paused. I've been playing hardcore. If you've been watching my live streams lately, I started on a hardcore journey. A challenge, if you want to call it. I'm trying to complete Last Epoch, get to level 100 on a hardcore character. And let's just say I'm not having the best of luck. I started this journey, I think, three days ago. The highest level my character on a hardcore has been in the 40 ranges, 43, 44. Well, I am obsessed with this Wraith Lord build. I'm loving it. And this was my very first attempt at hardcore with that build. I was motoring along and I was 44, 45, I think, level. And this is unfortunately my Wraith Lord's last step. As you can see, there's a circle around me and that flame coming towards me. And let's just say <clears throat> it didn't end well. And poof, just like that, my character was gone. And I have to say, I have attempted hardcore challenges in basically every game I've played. And more, most recently, I did a couple of challenges in Diablo 2 Resurrected where I took a hardcore character and beat Hell difficulty. Um, it took me nine attempts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that was a grind as well. But I have to say, last Epoch, first of all, I'm as most of you know my content and come and watch me live stream, you already know, uh, last Epoch is uh, delivering on all fronts. I'm thoroughly enjoying this game right now. And I can't get enough of it. But the hardcore challenge that I've embarked on is really kicking my butt. I have, so this was my first hardcore attempt officially. And of course, this was his last step and died. I have since died another two more times. And I'm beginning to wonder what am I doing this is getting ridiculous. All my deaths have literally been insta deaths. Insta. Not bosses. You know, you would think I would die to a boss. I'm dying to like stupid stuff. Uh, like my last one was to just poison, not having enough poison resistance and getting zapped. This one behind me, my first one with my Wraith Lord is really annoying and I still, I, I can't forget it because I was really humming along. We were gliding through everything, just motoring, letting all my minions do all the work, me staying in the backdrop, just laser beaming everybody and just really mowing down the competition. And this is one of the things if if you play hardcore you're gonna you, you know what i mean you can never let your guard down you can never get complacent and this death was attributed to the fact that i was starting to feel good i'm talking to chat we're motoring along i let my guard down for a second i got a little bit ahead of myself as you can see here i'm literally with my minions fighting and, and I'm more advanced ahead than I should be. I, You know, this build, the play style, the Wraith Lord, which, by the way, um, great, great build. Uh, so thank you for those people that uh, created this build. It's a beautiful build. I'm going to give it another go. I am not letting this, I'm not letting this one go. I'm going to see this one through. I want, like... I have yet to experience the full potential of this build. And from what I've seen, it really does a lot of damage. And it looks like a really fun playstyle. Now, having gotten to mid-40 levels with the Wraith Lord, I can tell you, I got, I started to like it more and more and more. It takes some time getting used to. You are not the one doing the damage. It's your minions, your golems, your skeletons, your wraiths, depending on how you set up your build. Those are the ones that are doing the damage for you. 
you're kind of in the background just assisting with them so it it does take a uh, a mental shift on on your play style but it delivers in spades and for someone that um plays a lot of hardcore this build i think is naturally fit for playing hardcore um it's unfortunate that i haven't been able to see it through uh but i hope i will be able to however i have to say hats off to 11th hour games the hardcore grind on this game is so rewarding and and it's challenging i have to say now i just to give you some background i play a lot of hardcore everybody knows that that knows my content prior to the uh, launch of last epoch 1.0 dur during my research because i hadn't played the game for years but i knew i was going to um play 1.0 during my research, I'm like, okay, how how's this game going to be hardcore wise? So when I did my research, I learned through the communication from Eleventh Hour Games that when 1.0 drops, players need to expect not the same level of difficulty that it had been increased. Even the campaign, the level of difficulty was bumped up, and of course the end game, the mid game, everything had been amped up from a difficulty standpoint. So when I heard that, I'm like, oh my God, crap, like uh, how hard? Uh, so I'm finding that, you know, they've amped it up. Now, I don't think it's, it's a mountain that I can't climb. I hope to climb that mountain. So uh, I just wanted to make a video and I wanted to hear from other players that are playing hardcore um, how are you finding it? And specifically, if you're a last Epoch player that played in 0.9, you know, prior to 1.0, I have a lot of people coming into my stream telling me they've been playing this game for five years and great improvements and, you know, yada, yada. But I want to hear from, like, longstanding players and get the real truth about how they see the level of difficulty and, and whether it's a big bump, a little bump, a minor bump, I, I would love to get that kind of feedback because I, I am interested to learn with, like how much more the game has been amped up from a difficulty standpoint. So let me know. Get in there in the comments and let me know from for those players that have been playing the game for two, three, four years. And if you have been playing the game for that long, you you would notice the difference, I would think. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep everybody, every once in a while, I'll keep um, doing videos on how I'm going with my hardcore challenge. And it's just brutal that I've already died, I yeah, three times. I've died three times, and I started this journey three streams ago. I've, you know, to me, days are streams because that's how I formulate things. When I play, it's only in the evening and uh, I record everything. So three streams, which typically are anywhere from five to seven hours. I've died three times on hardcore. Hard pill to swallow. Like I said earlier, this is a build I really want to see through. It looks like a lot of fun. It's just disappointing that I continue to die. So um, obviously I've... so. For the hardcore players that are watching this or aspiring hardcore players, because I have people coming into my chat, you know what, Sammy, you inspired me. I'm going to try hardcore. A couple of tips, even, <laughs> even though I've died three times, um, but I have confidence in myself. I think I'm going to get this done eventually. It might take a hundred tries, but who knows? But just a couple of tips, specifically with Last Epoch, resistances matter. So definitely get your resistances up as quickly as possible and craft, craft early, early, early. Craft early. Don't worry about the crafting materials. You get them in spades. The, if you play this game consistently, you're going to get the crafting materials. So understand what your build needs, whether it's melee damage, physical damage, spell damage, 
minion spell damage, minion necrotic damage, whatever. Um, just understand your build, what it needs, and just amp up your damage, amp up your defenses. Um, these little things that you do while you're grinding just give you that extra little additional defense or additional damage that just makes the progression and going through the game a little bit easier. And lastly, when it comes to hardcore, <clears throat> never let your guard down. Never. Um, this was attributed, this death behind me was attributed simply with the fact that, that I got a little too cool for myself. You know, wind blowing in my face with my hair blowing back in my convertible sports car with my sunglasses. I was feeling it. And boom, taken away from me instantly. The deaths in last epoch are literally instant. This is what's so devastating about it. But yet, oh my God, it's so good. So good. I like, I'm really, really loving um, this challenge. It is gonna, I think it's gonna take me a while to complete it if I'm being completely honest and transparent. This one's gonna be a tough one. I know there's already players out there that have reached level 100 on hardcore first attempt easy, but I don't play the game 12, 15 hours a day, every day, seven days a week. Um, and I'm not an MLG player. I'm not an esports pro. Uh, I'm just an average player. Um, and this is why I throw myself at these challenges because I want to test myself um, and I want to get through it. Right. So. But don't let your guard down. You always, you got to have four eyes. Four eyes and always be aware of what's going on. Um, so resistances, craft, never let your guard down. Those to me are the three big tips uh, if you want to embark on trying hardcore for the first time. Um, but I assure you, if you do, because a lot of people also come into my stream and tell me, eh, no way, I, I, I don't have the stomach for it, Sammy. I don't know how you do it. Um, try it because you're going to enjoy. I'm going to tell you, you're going to enjoy it. Look, I've been doing it a long time in all the games that I play and the deaths never get easier to swallow. They're painful all the time. Um, but at least for me, and I would hope for you, those deaths motivate me to go back, get back on the horse and do better and tell the game, nope, you know, you got me now, but I'm coming back and I'm going to get you kind of thing. So I love, I love that feeling. Unless you play hardcore, I really can't describe the feeling of playing hardcore. It really <clears throat> adds another element to the game that you really don't get in softcore. Dying sucks, no doubt about it. Um, but it's just the energy and the feeling you get while you're playing. Like there's always a sense of risk uh, while you're playing. You're always alert. Um, unlike this instance where, you know, I was driving my convertible car with my sunglasses, let my guard down and ba-boom, dead. Anyway, <clears throat> let me hear from the players that have been playing this on the topic of how much the level of difficulty has gone up. And if you watch this video or my stream and you have now embarked on the hardcore challenge for the first time, let me know in the comments how it's going. I would really love to hear about your journey, your experience, what you think. Have you gone back to softcore? <clears throat> let me know, I would love it. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted and hopefully one day I'll have a video. I did it, here it is kind of thing. Uh, that. I hope to have soon rather than later. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you found the video informative. And as always, thank you for watching my content. By the way, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And for those of you that are subscribers or are going to subscribe, please make sure you hit the bell, uh, the little bell. This way you get notified every time I drop content right away because I want you to get my content as soon as possible. Appreciate it. Okay, as always, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate 
is never welcomed. So get over it.